In this video, I'll be showing you how to install an AppSure ZTP server within your EvenG lab environment. Let's dig in. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is to go over to Juniper's download page and search for AppSure. Once we get our results, we want to scroll down past the application package and we want to click the uh, drop down menu for application tools. Now we'll see three AppSure ZTP images. The one that we're interested in here for EvenG is the Linux KVM image. Of course, if you have a Hyper V environment or a VMware environment, you would click the respective images. Once you click this blue link over here, you'll get redirected to another web page to then click uh, this blue link to download the image to your local desktop. Since I already have this installed on my Windows machine, uh, as we can see in my downloads folder, I won't be doing that step. But once you have it downloaded, you can then go ahead and uh, unzip it. For me, I'll click extract all, click extract, and then boom. Now I can see that nice little uh, after ZTP QCAL2 image. So now we want to ensure that we get this image over to our EvenG server. If you go to your EvenG lab environment and you attempt to add a node currently, if you go to the show unprovisioned a templates tab, you'll notice that your after ZTP server is likely grayed out. And that's because we need to create a folder within EvenG that lets it know that we have an available image to put within that folder so that it recognizes this device as something that's something we can actually add to our lab environment. So I currently am already connected via WinSCP to my EvenG server in the opt unit lab add-ons QMU folder. And so from here, I'll create a new folder and I'll call this Aptra ZTP. This first part is really important because that's what EvenG is looking for. And I just usually go with the version that I'm using since this is for uh, 4.2.1-21. That's what the name of this image will be. And I'll click OK. So I have that new folder created. Now I'll go ahead and transfer over this image to EvenG. All right, so that file has successfully transferred over. Now that we have the folder name properly, we now need to rename this image so that uh, when this device boots up, it sees the correct naming scheme and it, it, it sees this as a usable disk to boot up into. So I'll click rename and the name that EvenG is looking for for the device image is vertoa.qcow2. Uh, so now that that's in place, we are all set. So if you go back to your EvenG lab and you do a refresh, now if you come over to add a node on your canvas, you should see that you have the Aptra ZTP server ready to use. And for me, since I already had one version in place, I noticed that I have two images to select from. Uh, 42.1-21 will be the latest one that I've added. You can see that this isn't very uh, resource intensive, just one CPU and two gigs of RAM, but I'll go ahead and click save. Oh, one thing I'll do is change the icon to the Aptra server logo. And that's just by scrolling all the way down and selecting aptra.png and clicking save. From this point, I'll go ahead and click start. If I open a console to the Aptra ZTP server, I can see that it is successfully loading that image within this EvenG platform. Well, that concludes this video on how to add the Aptra ZTP server to your EvenG lab environment. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel to stay tuned for future videos. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.